Hey everyone, this is Daryl uh, from 365 Mrs. Center Show. We said we would deep dive a little into the announcements around the new chats and channels experience for Microsoft Teams. Indeed. Daniel, what are we going to do? We're going to talk about this and yeah, really get into and, it? You know, and I said it on the show, but basically, you know, this they're, they're messing around with, you know, two of the popular functions and functionalities, I guess I should say, of Teams, which is chat and teams and how that works for users in, the, in that experience. So we definitely wanted to dive in mm. just a little bit to talk about this experience and, so, and what we think and, and, uh, you know, get your opinions as well. Yeah. Um, you know, we say messing around and in, in terms of it is going to uh, be an impactful change mm. in terms of who moved my cheese, where did this stuff <laughs> go? Um, but it is an opt-in experience, mm -hmm. and, and that's how they're introducing it. They want they want people to still have the option, if you prefer, to go to a separate place for your teams and a separate place for your chats. But um, when they introduce this into uh, the private preview with all of those private preview customers, uh, and I got to experience this initially, I was like, whoa, this is too much. It's all together. Um, I'm, I'm opting out of this right now. Um, and initially, that's how it felt. But but they have taken a lot of feedback and looked at w what is the driving force behind optimizing this. Mm. And why do you think, Daniel, they have looked to merge these two? What do you think the, the main reason is? Uh, well, I don't know about main reason, and maybe you have more insights into this. But for me, my main reason is just the it, the it is the flipping back and forth between chat and teams and – where where was that? You know, was it in a team? Was it in a chat that I you know got that? Uh, mm. Being able to you know quickly find that because it's going to be an all in one view. But I, I, one other thing that I don't think we should neglect here when we're talking about this is they they're also going to give us the capability of having custom sections where you can mm. organize you know chats and channels and stuff in a way that's. You're not disassociating it from wherever it is. You're just kind of organizing it so that you can quickly get there. So if um, if you're having conversations with people about a project or whatever, you can put it all together. Um, so you can um, really in meeting chats. We, got, we can't forget about meeting chats. So you can quickly get to that information. So that's probably me, for me is just speed and smoothness of getting to the information mm. that I want. So let's actually play through this and pause and yeah. just talk about stuff as you see it. It's probably this, the quickest and easiest way. This is a render. It's not you know what it actually will look like, yeah. but it definitely indicates it. So as we go through it, you'll see that um, that's the indication here. Look, we're going to combine Teams and Chat. And uh, as an ex experience for that, what is what actually happens? Well, now we've got – well, let's, let's go back I mean, let's here. pause just for one second, though. Right here. You're yeah. not doing the dragging and dropping. You know, some of these no. sizzle reels that Microsoft does, they show things happening <laughs> and you're like, and it's meant to be, you know, a, ooh, look at this, ex, you know, like exciting thing, but it's not a click by click thing, right? It's not a, yep. um, you're not going to be dragging your team into chat like it did in this video. They're just saying Correct. that's what's happening in the background, basically, if you select this. Yeah. The, the um uh, was it? What's the name of the? I forget. So there's that the um Kirawana had interviewed a couple of the, mm. the product manager and the mm -hmm. developer, um, leading the charge on this, uh, and actually sort of went into what is this experience is going to be like for people when they first see it. It's going to be a whole lot of like little bubbles to say, do you want to try this out? Okay, you click into it, and then you get guided through that experience. Yeah. <clears throat> so it it is, yeah. It is something you'll turn on, and then it'll feel like a combined experience. Mm -hmm. um, we really could talk about this for a long time, but we are going to try and keep this reasonably quick. The, the experience around now thinking that I go to this app called Chat, and that's where I find my teams. And I'll talk about you know the driving force behind this is that while um, – a very popular way people use Teams today is group chats and chats. They are, in, in a lot of cases, not really using the channels experience of Teams, uh, which does mean that you lose out on a number of different things around um, 
uh, the management of conversations, the the retention, and, and a lot of different um, mm-hmm. administration that, that can happen behind conversations and content. related to teams and channels and and content, and content exactly. files. So, like <laughs> you know, it, there's a different experience. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, rather than it being one drive and sort of disparate kind of oh, let's pull together these people in this uh, less less formal chat. Um, so. This is meant to help us to easily transition from or even group together, like you said earlier, chats that are related to a project and and then the team and channels that are related to a project and using things like those uh, sections. So we will see this in the video. But already it's also driving us towards this unified experience of I'm having conversations across these different places. How do I quickly see what's read and unread? How can I quickly see where I've been mentioned uh, and, and, um, and still respecting that you are going to pin things as favorites. Yep. So we'll play through again. So there's our chats and uh, down there our channels as well. So mm-hmm. they are all there and you can still see them in, in a separated experience. Let's go a bit further along. So catching up easily, right? This is where we're starting to use filters. Mm-hmm. And so when you're clicking unread, you're actually seeing unread conversations across your chats and your teams and channels. Yeah, and, and I think that's, yeah. um, and then you could just, yeah, in this one, it's filtering unread and un, and channels. So you're only seeing. So yeah. uh, I, frankly, I'm going to use that a lot because, you know, being a member of many teams, you know, it gets kind of squirrely. And so that was my one big worry combining these is, well, great. Mm. Now I'm going to have a huge list of things. Well, yes, but I can filter by unread. um, And I would actually, you know, like to see more filters than just unread, but, um, but being able to say, okay, just show me all the channels that haven't, so I can catch up is, is great. Hmm. Yep, so being able to combine those two filters is quite powerful. Mm -hmm. It does mean, you know, think about this, and I'll be pointing out different adoption points of of order, um, that people need to use mentions correctly and more frequently rather than just posting something Mm -hmm. and hoping that their team will read it. Um, But anyway, so that's a combined filter. Um, there's your, your mentions, Daniel. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and I, I'm kind of in two minds of like, should that be up there with the other filters or, or is, why is it so, its own but... section? But there is a good reason for why. And you see what, when we're building that mentions list, it starts to pull it out almost like item by item level. Mm-hmm. And then if, if we were to go into, and I think it shows us in the video, it clicks into one of them. No, it doesn't. Okay, we'll just go back here and just talk a bit about it. If I clicked into that top conversation with Sarah Perez, it actually now pushes this list off to the side and now I can focus in on whether it's a team's chat or a group chat. It, now it's the focused experience. I'm looking at where I was mentioned yeah. and then reading the context around that. Yeah, and I get that and I like that experience. It's the, the For me though, there's, there's different reasons why you're doing this. Uh, if you're in the filters mm-hmm. up there, you're trying probably to find content. Um, you know, I, not, I'm sorry, you're trying to focus on content that is um, you're catching up on. And I feel like there should also be a mentions filter as well of like, show me the unread mentions because that is important to me. Now, I'm going to have to think about it the other way because mm. I can click on mentions here, but it's not up there in the filter on the left side. And then I can click on unread in the mentions section, you know, when it loads and yeah. then it'll show me unread. It's just I'm thinking of it differently. That That was my... I, I just wish it was really in both, but uh, I mean, I get it why it's yeah. separated. Yeah, yeah. All right, so that was catching up quickly, and now it's about organizing. So now we're talking about that other thing, sections yeah. that Daniel mentioned earlier. And I like this because this actually means it feels more like what we can do almost infinitely. That's a bit of a stretch. Mm. But within our inbox that we can create folders, we can create folders inside folders to organize messages within our inbox and outlook. So now with sections, it kind of feels the same that while I might be a member of a team and I am focused on a channel, I can pin all that. What I can actually do is now bring that together into a section called this project or, or this particular community activity that mm. I'm involved in. And so if we click on through, we can see now there's a new section. 
and I can drag content into the Alexandria project. Mm -hmm. So there's the the channel that's related to it. Here's a team chat that's related mm -hmm. to it, and um, yeah, maybe even other stuff like that. Yeah, I I think that so the, you help organize your life is definitely I think another yeah. way to think about that. Yeah, and I, this this sizzle reel only shows those two scenarios. There yeah. was more that was covered in in the chat that. Um, was on uh, the channel. We'll, we'll link to it in the description so you mm -hmm. can find it. Uh, and there is certainly more to come in terms of uh, announcements around uh, Ignite. Uh, this uh, tail part here for the video is really just trying to show that, oh, look, it's the same experience across mobile. Uh, so when you make these changes, when you create these sections, when you try and use these types of filters, they're all there also within the mobile experience. Yeah. Uh, so um, really good to see that consistency. I think the last um, thing I'll say, Daryl, on this is, you know, they talk about you can actually switch and have your teams separate again. Um, yeah. Do you, do you think they'll always have that? And I, that would be my last question for you. Mm. Or is this one of those where we've given you the, the, the uh, option, but maybe next year they're going to be like, you know what? We don't want to support two different looks here. We're going to make everybody switch. What do you, what do you think? Mm. And I don't know that we, I don't know. I'm asking, you know, I don't have any foresight into this. Do you think they'll force it on everybody? Um, I think there's a possibility for that. Um, might be further down the track and it might be, yeah, might be too, but uh, in combining these two experiences here so that we've got chats and we've got channels, you know, they do have more plans for bringing some features into chats to help. The, the functionality around having a conversation. Um, I feel like, you know, like with all things, you know, you need a team to continue to maintain a certain set of features and experiences. Um, there, there is definitely this drive here of also, and it wasn't demoed in this this video, but where does Copilot come into this? And um, it's definitely highlighted there as part of it. And um, so maybe down the track we'll see something uh, that that uh, you know we don't need to have, or we we don't want to offer anymore the the teams and the chats separated experience. Thank you for indulging um, me there in my question. I I, I probably <laughs> I I kind of so. I kind of agree with you on that one as well. So yeah yeah. Look, my my last comment here too, and this is you know change man and adoption hat on. Mm -hmm. um, we'll go back to what we first said. This is an impactful change that people will opt into. And we'll try it out, but they will definitely need some guidance around, you know, how to use this and what this looks like. Now, this is, um, i got to say hats off again to the adoption team at Microsoft. It's one of the rare occasions where they've put the effort into creating the resource and publishing it early for how do we use this thing. They've actually got a PDF from the adoption.microsoft.com um, microsite for this feature that is available to, to use. Of course, it's going to be updated from versioning perspective. Um, organizations are going to create their own guidance. Look, I'm going to try and simplify it too and create some content around it. It's going to be important to guide people through this uh, to help them see the value and to use it. 100%. And, that, and when I was saying messing with, that's exact. you, you explained it earlier. That's exactly what I'm saying is um, they're changing it. And so... I think, you know, it's not a, uh, you know, one of those like, oh, we'll just tell everybody not to opt in or whatever. I mean, no, like people are, this is, they're changing it for a good reason. Yes, it's changing. So you need to manage that change in your organization and really understand how it's going to impact your users um, from not just a perspective of um, it changing, you know, okay, things have moved, but also how to best use it. Right, how to best use this new functionality uh, is really important. So, you know, if you don't have a program in in your organization on, on change, then you know, contact myself or contact Daryl. You know, uh, we can help you. But somebody needs to help. Somebody needs to do that in your organization and helping users not just um, understand it but also use it in the proper way. Uh, it's going to be pretty important for this. It, it's it's a big deal. It really is a big deal for teams. So that was a special episode from uh, from 365 Message Center Show. We do them occasionally. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, Daniel, for making the time too because I know yeah, it's thank you, your Dan. evening. And 
Yeah, excellent. Um, so yeah, uh, pass your comments, drop your your, your comments and questions in the in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you again. Thank you, everyone. Bye for now.